dropped a yolk in there. And I broke a yolk. Yep. That didn't work. Let's try this differently. Welcome to Southern Yankee Homestead. Uh, we're not doing something so much homestead related today. We're cooking, but we're experimenting. I am going to attempt to make a angel food cake to go with some of the uh, spring strawberries that we canned up earlier. So that's the tie in there. And I'm going to be making whipped cream after that uh, from cream. So I've got my ingredients, if, depending on how this works out. Uh, it's kind of B-roll as I was scrambling the eggs. Uh, but the ingredients are one and a half cups of egg whites, one and a half cups of confectioner sugar, one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of cream of tartar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. This recipe is coming straight out of a Betty Crocker cookbook. So I'm not going to tell you which one, just Betty Crocker cook, bakes everything. And with baking, i got to be a little bit more careful because cooking is art where baking is chemistry. You have to have the right proportions, the right amounts, the right mixtures to get it to come out correctly. And that's where a lot of people have a problem with baking. Cooking, like I said, is more artistry, so you're, you got more leeway. You can change the flavors as you like. Where with baking, if you add too much egg whites and not enough flour, you don't end up with a chiffon. You end up with whipped eggs with flour. So this is an angel food cake, which is supposedly a chiffon. I am not a professional. I don't claim to be a professional cook. My wife is. But I like playing around with this. So, let's get started. Um, before I start beating the eggs, I actually want to mix the flour and the powdered sugar. I put them in one cup because we're going to sift them together in just a good old fashioned sifter. I'll show you why we're using paper in a second. Since we're recording, and over here where we're going to need it, and we'll put that off to the side. So we're going to sift this out. Exciting, isn't it? Ooh, look at this sift. I'm probably doing the wrong technique. Someone with a cocaine problem is really going to love this video. I got a massive pile of white powder here. <laughs> and the air is sweet. Well, most of it's confectionery sugar. And since I'm recording, no, it's not cocaine. And the only reason I know what cocaine looks like is because I've seen it in a movie once or twice. Okay, there was this one time in Portugal, we were offered a rock. Obviously, the uh, guy that was selling it to us had no clue about the U.S. military and the drug policies. Now, let's see if I can do this without making too big a mess. We're going to shift, 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 shift. Oh, right back in there. Wait, maybe we can... There we go, that worked better. Wow, when you sift it, it gets a lot more volume. All right. 
right. And three. All right, now we got that sifted. Got our sugar ready. Uh, we got our eggs. Uh, no, our eggs is our eggs is at our eggs are at room temperature. I uh, left them out overnight, which we can do because there are eggs. They're not store-bought eggs. Uh, we sifted the powdered sugar and flour together three times, set it aside. Add cream of tartar and vanilla to egg whites. So, we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of cream of tartar. One teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon. And we're going to throw those aside because we're done measuring. All right, we're going to beat these on medium high until we get soft peaks. Start off slow, get a roll going. That's soft peat. So now we're going to add the sugar and bring it to a stiff peat. trick is we want to get it to a stiff peak, but we don't want to get it to mayonnaise. Hey, I think I got it. I didn't hold it over my head, but I tilted it to the side and it didn't fall out. <laughs> now we're going to incorporate this in. stir method. We're not trying to break down our, our, our egg whites. We're just trying to incorporate the flour. There, all incorporated. I'm going to clean this 
spatula off. So I'm going to need that for the next step, but I want it semi clean. Now, I made an angel food cake God, 20 years ago now when I was at my old apartment. And the problem that I had with it was I used a bunt pan, not a chiffon pan or an angel food pan. Yep, I'm still up frame. I'll move you closer here in a second. This is a chiffon pan. Again, this is another item we got at auction. We can actually have two or three of these. I don't know why. But the idea is, well, I'll show you later. But the big thing is you got the three tabs and the piece that sticks up in the center higher than the edges. That will come into play after it comes out of the oven. Um, but right now, we're going to go ahead and pour this into the pan and we're going to pour it in dry. There's no oil, there's no grease, there's nothing in here except straight metal. So we're going to go ahead and plop her, actually, before I plop it in there. So we're going to go ahead and block your view so you can't see what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and slide this in here the best I can. So you know right now it kind of has the consistency of a watered down peanut butter. It's kind of got, or I would say a really thick pancake batter. Throw that out the side. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this leveled out. I'm being gentle with it, but at the same time, I'm trying to get as much of this out as possible and get it as level as possible. Set that here. Now because of this batter being the way it is, it can build up air gaps. So what I'm doing is I'm basically using a bamboo skewer to give it a little bit of a twist to hopefully break up those air bubbles or move them into an area away from things. There we go. Now I believe we're ready to go in the oven. So this goes into the oven 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes on the bottom rack. I've already had the oven heating. So we'll go up to 40 minutes. I'll check it, and then we'll be back after that. So see you in about 45 minutes. All right, let's check her. According to the book, you should be able to push on it, and it should spring back. It's not quite springing back, so we're gonna go ahead and put it in for another two and a half minutes or so. We'll go three and I'll be right back. All right, it's been three more minutes. So, 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 let's see what we got here. Okay, it's springing back. Now, I was telling you about the tabs earlier in the centerpiece. One of the reasons is when you pull it out of the oven to cool it, you set it upside down. Now we let it cool for, well, until we can touch it. Uh, we're not going to pull it out of the pan until it cools. And one of the reasons why you flip it upside down is where this is a chiffon, if you cool it right side up as it cools, it would collapse. That's why we have the tabs and the centerpiece in there so that it will 
cool, but it will stay inflated. It won't collapse under its own weight. So we'll be back in a minute with a topping for this, and we're going to let it cool. So stick around. We're almost done. All right. We'll go ahead and make the topping and go ahead and chill this in the fridge. And what we're doing is we're going to make whipped cream. Whipped cream is very easy to make. What I have here is two and a half cups, a little over two and a half cups of whipping cream. I'm just going to throw that in the pot. And this is chilled. This is, uh, I've had this in the refrigerator for about a half hour. Then we're going to add one teaspoon, well, one teaspoon, one teaspoon vanilla optional for one cup of whipped cream. So we got two and a half cups, so we're going to use two sloppy teaspoons. Sloppy being we're going to fill it till it overgoes, then we're going to fill it until it overflows. There we go. And then one to two tablespoons of sugar. And this is for a recipe of one cup where you're doing two cups. So. We're going to do a basically a heaping one, and anything extra that goes in, we're going to go one, and we're going to go two. Since it says one to two, we're just going to we're going to make an actual level three. And then this is where the hard part comes in. We whip it. Whip it good. Now the one thing with whipped cream, you have to be careful of. You want to whip it until you get the soft peaks. If you whip it too long, you don't get whipped cream, you get sweetened whipped butter. You can make butter the same way. It doesn't take too long to do. In fact, it's already starting to come together. You see that? We do make our own butter occasionally too. All right, see how it's starting to get runners in it? I believe you can see that, can't you? You should be able to see that. So we're getting little runners in it. We don't want to over mix it. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to say that's good. It's clumping up lovely. So we're going to set that over here. Disconnect this. And we're going to pour most of this all over the counter. Yeah, I guess I could have gone a little longer, but you know what? It's still going to taste dang good. Ah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Very good. Oh, that was stupid. Yes, we're using gelato containers. Yes, I gotta dirty another spatula because some idiot licked the spoon. Guess what? Some idiot's gonna lick the spoon again. Okay. I'm gonna refrigerate this, and we'll, next shot we'll be incorporating everything. Well, one thing you haven't seen. And two things you have. All right, it's been a couple hours. It's still semi-warm, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now we're going to take it out of the, it says use an offset spatula, but since I don't have one big enough, we're going to use a uh, nice flexible fillet knife. We're just going to go right down and around the edge. Oh, yeah, there we go. Pops right out. We're going to trace the center here. And we're going to go off the base. I can find a lip to get under.
did that right. Go like this, go to the center, flip it. Oh! There we go. One angel food cake. Mm, yeah, that, that's probably bad. Mm. So let's see. So for oh. topping, we're going to be using the whipped cream, and we also have some strawberries that I canned up earlier this year. All right, I'm cutting it, hon. And what is that you're putting on there? Oh, I already said this is some of our strawberries that we uh, that I picked up earlier in the year. We're just drizzling it over. Make sure you get lots of strawberries to soak into the cake. One more spoon. And yeah, I guess my whipped cream could have used a little bit more whipping. Ugh. I don't even want to eat it because it's so pretty. Mm. Wait, I have to taste it again. All right, we're going to be here a minute, so I'm going to say, uh, or we're going to leave you with this lovely image of uh, Hun eating uh, the cake, and we're going to say thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you I on enjoyed. the next video.